I need another car. And so when I was searching how to find the best lease payment, the best deal, what to look for, pricing numbers, this guy's material came up when I first found him. And since then he has just created just amazing content around car buying, whether it's leasing, renting, or new financing. I mean, just phenomenal information around that. So the purpose of this video is to use his YouTube channel and the business just to analyze it from an outsider, right? As a fellow content creator, looking at all of the things that he has going on. And this is going to benefit those of you who are my clients that are trying to build businesses by creating content online and specifically those who are trying to become financial coaches, financial content creators, financial influencers, consultant strategists, you're looking to create personal finance content here would be a perfect success example case study of what certain things you can pull from this creator, right? That you're like, okay, I like that. I like what he's doing here. I like what he did here. I like this. I like that. I don't like that. I'll take that out. And you can customize it for yourself. This is also a great way to simply follow successful paths, follow the footsteps of those that came before. This way you're not out here trying to reinvent the wheel. This way you're not out here trying marketing strategies that are either outdated or don't work. You get to see a real life case study that is a, a 2022 going back as far as 2018 or 2019, I believe is when he started his YouTube channel. So we get to see real raw data, raw numbers in the, the, the current process of where this person is at. So let's take it to the whiteboard and really break down this particular YouTuber, his numbers, all that good stuff. So this is what I've pulled. This is me recording this video in November, the day before Thanksgiving, right? Is when I'm recording this video. So these numbers, by the time I post this video, all of these numbers will likely increase, get better. Who knows, right? Depends on whatever his strategy is. He might go viral again, might jump. So full transparency, these are numbers based on November 23rd, 2022. His largest following is TikTok, 233,000 followers. But I want to say he started his journey on YouTube, which has 197,000 subscribers, over 12 million views. I want to say near 13 million views total, right? Near 13 million, just under 13 mil. Instagram, 48,000 followers. Twitter and LinkedIn, obviously not too much activity there. His focus seems to be YouTube and then recreating his uh, long form content and educational videos into shorts, reels, stories. And that's where he's been able to build a pretty good following over here on the Instagram and the TikTok. That's what I'm observing based on the research that I've done around his whole entire business model, right? So if you add up all, all those numbers, he is sitting pretty uh, total across all platforms, right around 478,000, 73 followers, upwards of a half a mil, probably more by the time I post this video. And I want to say this all got achieved within four years or less. I went on his website, said he started in 2019 summer. His YouTube channel was started in August of 2018. So I'm not sure if he was actually posting anything or if he just, just created an account, but didn't actually start creating content till summer of 2019. So give or take three or four years, right? Now, I don't know what this person makes. I don't know what he's generating. What I did was I took all of the different products and services that he's providing and took all the numbers, listed them all out. And then I base it off of a 1% conversion rate, guys. This is super, super conservative. He's probably making way more than what I'm illustrating. The, the reason for me illustrating these numbers in this, in this way is to show you the massive opportunity in the marketplace today. It's insane. 